yeah, it's been it's been really busy, but really enjoyable to be fair. Um, busy organising the the grassroots, the obviously the summer camp, um, and then working on the, the YDP as well. Uh, starting off with the 70s and 16s, so um, it's been really busy, but but really enjoyable. Well, we we had an idea of starting the UIDP where we wanted to start preparing, especially the 17s, for, for, the, for the tournament in Finland in October. Um, so we went about contacting the clubs uh, for players. We had a, a list of players that played in the development tournament in Belarus. And then we found out about players playing in Spain, uh, where we went to watch them play in Spain. We invited them into training and we've been training since then. And we've added a, a U16s group as well. Um, and the idea hopefully is to add a, a U15s 2007 group to start training with us as well. The idea is that we get them throughout the whole year where they're training at least once and twice a week with us, um, obviously as well as their clubs and once the season starts, the clubs obviously take priority of, of their players. Yeah, it's been really good, really enjoyable. I've really enjoyed working with, uh, with the players, uh, with the staff. The staff have been really supportive and helpful. Um, it won't function without them um, and, and the players have been really, really good. I've been, I've enjoyed every minute working with the players um, and every day we try and improve and we try and learn. Now the tournament is basically now some of them are training with their club so we're trying to get as many friendlies as, as possible to prepare them just to get minutes in their legs. Um, for me you can train as much as you want but, but game time and minutes is the most important thing to prepare the players. Uh, so we're trying to get uh, friendlies in where we prepare them, uh, work on tactics, work on the physical aspects as well just so we go into the tournament in Finland as, as prepared as possible. It's going to be tough, there's no doubt about that, but we want to try and prepare them uh, as much and as best as we can. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think we've been together now, this is week 9, going into week 10. Uh, I think it's been really important for us to get the players together and train and, uh, you know, three, four times a week. Um, just to get them playing football, to train, to, to get them to understand the various aspects of how you want to play. Um, the demands of training, the intensity of training, um, and and also um, to get to know each other as, as players and as a group, I think it's really important. I know the U19s have been following suit, and I think um, they've been doing the same thing. They've been training for a long time, and I think it's important that we train annually throughout the year. Um, we train on, on at least a weekly basis, once a week, where we have the players in, um, and I think it's really important for their development. Obviously, our aim is to get them to, to perform at a high standard to eventually get into the the senior squad, so for us it's all about uh, the development of players. Well, hopefully, yeah. Um, that's my my idea, to try and get them prepared as possible. Obviously, we started with the 16s already as well. We want to start with the 15s, and hopefully we can start working our way down uh, all the way to U13s. Um, we want to try as best as possible to cover every age group. Obviously, we started the, the academy now for the, for the younger kids, which is, which is really important. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I think we it gives us better better chance of, of at least um, you know competing at, at the higher level. I think it's it's massively important that we we carry on doing this. Um, like I said, the 16s are training now, so they'll be performing in the 17s tournament next year. So we want to try and get them in and, and as prepared as possible. We're doing a lot of work as well, not just on the grass, but away from from training. So a lot of video analysis, uh, gym work with the sports scientists and physios. Um, trying to get them to, to think about what they do outside of training, how they conduct themselves, this is really important for me. The most important thing is how you act as a, as a human being off the pitch. Um, that's the most important thing, um, because even if they don't make a career in football, we want to try and educate them. So whatever career path they take, they have, um, they have the right values 